Congratulations. You got a growing, scaling startup, you're hiring staff, and now you're getting to the point where you're thinking critically about how can you better communicate, collaborate, and work collaboratively with everyone on your team. Now, think about this. As an employee, you've probably worked for someone who has tried to get you to do lots of reporting, which you're probably finding very burdensome and tedious, and maybe you'll even not bother filling things in because maybe people won't check, maybe they won't know. But let's face it, you're a manager now, you're a founder, you own the company, and you're really thinking, do you know what, I need this feedback so I can effectively manage the staff that I have in my company. But there's got to be a balance, right? It needs to be something that's easy to do. So maybe you've tried using systems or multiple different systems, but they're just there's too many features, it's too complicated, it takes too much time, and no one ends up doing it. And let's face it, you probably don't even bother reviewing it because that's too much work, right? So what if there was a simple, easy, collaborative solution based on actual successful companies? So I built this free OKR PPP KPI tracker. I know that's a lot of acronyms. And I put this out there for free for startups to use. And this thing gets downloaded about 30 times a day. And so quite a lot of people have actually used it. And I've got great feedback from it. But I also got feedback from people that it needs to be a lot larger. It needs to have more features for larger companies. So I set out and made the pro version of my free tool, which you know I make a lot of free tools for the smaller guys. And then I make larger tools for people who can actually afford them, which I think is fair, right? And with this, there's a lot more features in it. Okay. So what do you really want to think about with, with when you're managing a company? We're well, going to have a longer term forecasting period, which will be your OKRs, which is a stretch things that people want to, don't want, to, want to deal with. So your objectives, and then the key results, which contribute to how those people achieve those objectives. Then on a short term basis, on a weekly basis, you're going to have your PPPs, your problems, your progress and your plans, or what you did last week, what you're going to do this week, and anything you're stuck in that ideally everyone else in the team can help you with. But also, everyone has KPIs. But I thought, why do you want to have these in different places? What if you just had them in one place? Wouldn't that make life easier for you? Absolutely. So why make life complicated? Now, that's a starter point. But as a manager, wouldn't it be cool if on a weekly basis, all those PPPs were emailed to your inbox. Or more than that, what if all your line managers would be able to get communications from all their staff? That would be pretty cool, right? But it's probably really complicated. Wouldn't there be a lot involved in it? Sort of, but I've made it really simple. The point where you can type some people's names in, click some drop down menus, and congratulations. All that is suddenly now very possible. So now in this video, I'm going to take you through how this sheet actually works and how it can work for you. And I hope you're really going to enjoy it. Okay, I'm not going to go into all the technical terminologies and how the OKRs and the PPs work. I've got a very long blog where the free version of this is available. And you can pick up on that. It's something like 6,000 words. So we really get into nerdy detail in it. So this video is purely going to be about how you can use this sheet for yourself. Maybe you've already bought it. Uh, maybe you're checking it out and want to see more from this video. So either way, stick with me. I'm going to go through this now. Now, the first sheet is going to be this little guide that was going to explain to you that the first thing you're going to need to have to do is when you get a link to this, make a new copy of it and save it for yourself. So uh, this is in the Google spreadsheet. I'm not sharing it in a Excel file because it's, there's code involved in it. Um, and I want it to make it a little bit easier for you to set up. So you need to save this to your drive. And then you can follow a couple of um, little pointers in here, but really I'm going to explain everything for you. Now we're going to skip over and we'll see just briefly here. There are managers and there are staff and the staff can actually uh, be both managers too. Managers can receive emails. So you just type in what the name is, what their email is. And then the staff, you put in the names and who receives it from whom for the managers. And literally type the names, click yes or no, and every single Friday at 6 p.m., these managers are going to receive an email from all these people on their PPPs. I'm going to come back to this, but I'm just going to do this at a high level. 
So what are the OKR and PPP things? Okay, well here we have our OKRs and then the KPIs. Here we have our BPPs. Um, so this is very briefly, it's here. Okay, so these are the sheets that are in here. The other one we have is this system sheet, which deals with um, this Google code, which will send you an email every single week with your PPPs. So now that's a quick overview of what's in the sheet. I'm going to drill down into each of these sheets and show you exactly what's happening. Okay, so let's go back to the setting sheet. Now, what week do you start your OKRs? Well, the current week is week 25. And so if you were to say you download the sheets and you want to spend a week getting your staff ready for it, you'd say that maybe we're going to start next week, at which point you would start on week 26. And therefore, in the PPP sheet, you wouldn't be starting a week 25. And this little arrow helps you out. You'd be starting a week 26. And here again, you wouldn't be starting week 25. You'd be starting in week 26. So you just put in the week that you're actually starting this whole thing up and leave it. So this space for an entire year, we won't have to touch this again for an entire year. If you want to restart the whole thing, then you just put in the current week you're at and the, the delete everything in the shells and the sheets and you're, you're done to go. You're good to go. Now, we do reporting on a weekly basis for PPPs, not your OKRs. Your OKRs are something that you should put more time into and spend time and PPP is more of an aid memoir, which is say, this is what everyone's working on. This is what they're having struggles with. This is what they're going to do. And it's actually almost useful for everyone in the company to actually know what everyone's going, uh, getting on with. Of course, the managers need to read this stuff, which is why they will get emailed. But the staff can see what everyone else in the company is doing and you know, create clarity within this uh, just by having it in one sheet. So now let's say your name is Mary. You would just type in your name, Mary. You put in your surname if you like. You'd put in your email address, whatever it is, Marriott Startup or something. Okay, congratulations. <laughs> Mary's now going to start receiving emails from people once you've assigned who their responsibility is. Now, you might have seen before, Mary has just popped up here. Every single time you add someone else, they will appear. So let's say that Jim, uh, Jim, Jones and Lappy report to Mary. Congratulations. Mary is now going to receive to her email address the PPPs from these three people. But let's say Mary hires someone else and we'll call it Julie or July, whatever. I don't know how to spell Julie. Um, then you just change this to yes. And if Julie is only responding to Mary, Mary is the only person that will be getting a PPP update from Julie. That simple. That's literally all you need to do. Of course, people need to fill it in. Um, small detail, but you can have up to 50 staff and 20 managers receiving updates from these staff. You can see how many people you've employed and how many updates um, each person is getting from it. Now, this is important. You need to put in no staff if there's no one here. So the system knows to blank everything out, basically. But all you need to do is just type in another person, call it Ben, and it goes from red to yellow, and boom, off you go. But that's it's really that simple to start generating emails to people in your team. Now, why don't we just dive into the OKR and KPI sheet? Now, the free version of this doesn't have any links. This one has 50 people. <laughs> So it can be a little bit annoying if you're going to have to keep on scrolling down if you're like employee number 40. So by the way, the, I've used little formulas to hide things when no one's there. So it also self-populates. But let's say we want to, let's say my name is Simon. I want to fill on my sheet. I would just click on my link and boom, I'm all the way down to row 20, 221. Thank you very much. Very nice, right? So that's a nice little handy thing. Now to set up your objective and key results, you're going to do this on a quarterly basis. So you'll see here, we've got 12 columns and then a summary. You're going to set up to three OKRs. You don't have to fill them if you don't want. For example, we need to get to 10 million ARR by the end of the three quarters. My target date will be the 1st of December. And then when I actually complete it, I'll type in the date so that in terms of performance appraisal, we know that uh, this person, Sarah, has actually done it. Now, you set what your objective is. 
your key results are how you're going to quantitatively prove or show that you've achieved that. So you can set that as, uh, say, 20% monthly growth. Now, every single week, you're going to type in what the weekly growth is. Very simple. So you set the goal of 20, 20, 22, 21, 25. So in this case, after the end of a three-month period, you could say that they have exceeded their OKR. Let's say if they want to have a retention rate of 35%, 32, 30, 29, 30. Then on average, they're underperforming. So you get that example of one OKR. You can set a second one. Also, when the date completed it, and the third one, that's your OKR is done. I've stripped out a lot of um, stuff which is associated with the OKRs just because it's a lot of work. And so this whole summary thing that I have here is an attempt to um, circumvent the scoring method that you're meant to do, which I think, at least for early stage companies, or those that are a little bit more flippant about things, is just too much work, frankly. We kind of know if people are doing it or not. So why make a big deal about it? I'll have to do math, right? Now for KPIs, <laughs> this is so retardedly simple. Literally just list what the KPIs for each of your staff are, up to 10. It could be three to five. Ten's a bit much, but why not? If you're in marketing, it's probably higher. And it could be, you know, CTR, click through rate, 15%. And then the next week it could be 16%. And you can track them every single, single week clicks, conversions, CPI, CPMs, affiliates, or something, 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 whatever. Whatever the KPIs are for that person, whack them in here. It's a little bit of work for them to have to fill it in, but if you don't have too many KPIs, like, why not? But the reason I added the KPIs on top of the OKR PPPs is because then you can have one sheet for everyone to use for all the communication with the management, which means, like, less reports, less wasted time, less emails. If you just say... If you're the boss and you ask the guy in marketing for it, he'll be like, dude, just go into the sheet, you know, the one that you make me fill out. And then you don't need to annoy him anymore. And I just thought that was really useful if you just make people just plonk in those data points. And then you see you can do it for each person. And we've got, you know, got it for a whole lot of people, all the way down to 50. There's a lot of rows, okay? Now, there's quarter one. We've got quarter two quarter three, and then quarter four. So after a year, if you're still using this sheet, you can just delete everything in this in the sheet and restart again. Simple. Now let's do the PPP. So we'll come back to this bit at the top. So we'll look at Sarah again, okay? So all these are automatically calculated if people fill in what they're meant to. So every week they're going to say what, they, what the progress is, so what you'd achieve this week, the plans, what you plan to do next week, what the problems are. So what problems are you facing you would like help with, okay? And so ideally this is something that you should really be paying attention to. So if Sarah's having an issue with retargeting, you should get on the ass of CJ and make sure that your affiliates start working properly, right? That would be useful. And it's also useful to know what they're kind of doing. So you may be doing startup stand-ups every day, but it would just be cool if every single Friday people just you know, give a little summary of what they really achieved this week and what they're going to do next week. It saves you kind of annoying them, frankly, right? So this should be something that staff want to do so they get left alone by you. So you literally just need to be like, you know, very to the point. I fixed the AdWords bug. Uh, next week, I'm planning doing some marketing scheme to drive more discount customers. Yay, discount customers. And the problem I have is that retargeting is working with CJ. So we need to fix that. And if it's all being filled in properly, this fills in and turns yellow. And so we can see that um, Sarah, Yvonne, and Jim have filled them in, as well as Jones, but May hasn't. Naughty, naughty barrel. Okay. Um, if she had, it would be like, this is awesome. And you'll see they all go green. And you can see here, it says May has now completed their PPP, whereas before, which she hadn't, we'll see May is in the naughty list of has not completed their PPPs. Now we've got this for each and every single person and it goes all the way across for 52 columns, meaning a year. Now I purposely have who is completed and who is not completed so that this will be sent out in emails 
and it will also be shown in the sheet for social proof as to who's doing it and who's not doing it. So May, Simon, Lappy, July, and Ben do not want to be visible to Sarah, Yvonne, Jim, and Jones, who have done their work, that these guys have not. Okay. Um, so now the system basically just works. Okay. Um, the only thing you'll have to do when you're actually loading it up is you're going to be going to tools, script editor, and then here's where the code is. And then you'll click on these triggers here and make sure that the time and the day is right for you. So I say every Friday at six to 7 PM, and this is my time. So it'll pick up your local time as according to what your account settings are. It will send an email. So if you want to change it at a later time, just do that. We'll put it back to six or seven, whatever it is. And press save and you're done. Okay, now the first time you do this, you are going to want to press run. And then this is going to pop up and say, please give us authorization. You will say yes. Then it'll say it's an it comes from an unauthorized developer. And at the bottom, you'll say, yes, I know, or ignore, uh, agree to sign from an unknown developer, you press yes, and then it'll actually work. But you'll only need to do that the first time when you set up that sheet. So literally, I'll just do it again. You're going to go to tools, script editor. Then you push this play button, which means the script runs. And then you accept it from them. It's Google makes it a little bit hard to see it sometimes, but you'll find it at the bottom of the left, I think. And then press accept. And then Google will know that you accept to have the script and you're done. So you just close it out. Congratulations. You now have an OKR, PPP, and KPI tracker for your company. It couldn't really be any easier. So it's really cool. So every, every week, people are going to fill out their PPPs. And you're going to get an email sent to you. Nice, right? Now, this is based off best practice. Um, it's based off some of the principles that Intel created and then Google have basically popularized. And it's been used by hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of startups. I'd say thousands, actually, if I'll be real. Um, I built this out. It took me two whole days to take the basic version I made and actually expand it. It's not as simple as it looks. It takes a lot of effort to make it look simple, but I really hope it's going to be useful to you. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on the live chat in the bottom if I'm awake, which is normally the case, or send me an email and I'll be happy to ask you any questions for you. Otherwise, um, you can get it now and feel free to have a play. And I hope it's going to be really useful to you.